first we will start with the, the first chapter that is called as statistics and analytics the first chapter name called as statistical data collection and types so once again we will discuss in detail what are all the subtopics that we will uh, come across all these uh, three subject three chapters that we will discuss in the first chapter statistical data collection and uh, types so we will come across definition of data and definition of classification so andre what do you mean by uh, data andre no what is the uh, definition of statistics and uh, what is classification so that we will uh, come across this chapter so along with that what do you mean by qualitative data so what do you mean by quantitative data what is discrete data and what is continuous data that also we will discuss in this chapter so along with that what are the different types of data collection so how to uh, collect the data so what are the different uh, methods are there what are the different types of uh, data collections are there so that also we will discuss in this chapter the first one is <clears throat> questionnaire method uh, survey method interview method focus group discussion method and uh, the last concept how to clean the data so what are the procedure we have to follow while cleaning the cleaning the data that also we will discuss in this chapter so that is about the small <coughs> introduction about the first chapter that is called as statistical data collection and types so in the second chapter that is called as summarization of data so he will come across descriptive statistics what do you mean by descriptive statistics that we will discuss and data tabulation uh, frequency how to construct the frequency table that also we will discuss what is relative frequency table how to construct relative frequency table and the next is in the grouped data so these are all the graphs and diagrams we will discuss in this chapter the first one is bar graph number 2 pie chart number 3 line graph next frequency polygon frequency curve relative frequency polygon and the next is how to construct histogram and the box plot and leaf stem plot so second chapter is uh, purely based on all type of uh, different types of uh, diagrams and graphs so if you know how to analyze if you know how to draw different types of graphs and diagrams and it will be very easy to solve the given mcq questions so therefore so this chapter also very important and very attractive chapter and you will get around the 6 marks in this chapter so next we will start with the third chapter that is called as measures of location and dispersion so so in this chapter very important what are all the formulas will come what are all the uh, features will come those uh, features formulas are very important if you know the formulas if you recall the formulas then it will be very easy to solve the respective problems so in this chapter you will come across determination of central tendency that means what do you mean by central tendency so what are all the different uh, measures of central tendency are there so first one is arithmetic mean or you can say that mean anta helbodu number 2 median number 3 mode and also we will discuss about determination of determination means calculation of absolute measures of dispersion and in this range quartile deviation mean deviation standard deviation and variance so this all the concept we will discuss in the determination of absolute measures of dispersion so totally and the last one is skewness and also kurtosis also we will discuss in this chapter so totally you will get around 5 mark in this chapter so uh, in the three first three chapters you will get around totally 40 marks the next remaining the last chapter is there that is python chapter so in that particular chapter you will get around 6 marks so we'll start the first chapter that is called as data collection and types so what do you mean by data collection and type before uh, starting the data collection and type we will discuss how the statistics is originated hege statistics would cold to adru bage we will uh, have some discussion so first is when man started counting comparing and keeping record in one or the other way so manusha yavaga count madodana compare madodana start martane avaga subject anno statistics anno subject utkoltu when man started counting comparing keeping record in all other aspects then the subject statistics statistics seem have been originated and statistics took birth when people started expressing their ideas such as members uh, total number of members in a family and livestock and quantities given and taken so then 
the statistics has been originated so yavaga manushya count madodakke compare madodakke so adanna record madkolodakke start martta hogtane so aa time alli statistics anno ond subject to utkolutte so next as man started living in a society oba manushya society society alli badukbeku ant helidre so keeping record of many aspects become necessity ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ನ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಸೇವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅದು ನೆಸೆಸಿಟಿ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಾಟ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ದ ಕ್ಲೈಮೇಟ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಬ್ಬ ರೈತ ಸೊ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಸೀಸನಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಬೆಳೆನ ಬೆಳಿಬಹುದು ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಅವ್ರೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೋರ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಅಥವಾ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಅರ್ಬಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ಗೆ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಗಿಡ ಮೂಲಿಕೆಗಳನ್ನ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಹರ್ಬಲ್ಸ್ನ ನಾವು ಕೊಡಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಪೇಷೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅವರು ಡೇಟಾನ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಅಥವಾ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ನ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಈ ಥರ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರುವಂತಹ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ನ ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಸನ್ನಿಂದ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪರ್ಸನ್ಗೆ ಅಥವಾ ಒಂದು ಜನ್ರೇಷನಿಂದ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಜನ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸು ಪಾಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಒರಿಜಿನೇಟೆಡ್ so this is the small introduction small history about the statistics so next we will start with <coughs> so what is what is the uh, definition of statistics so in the word statistics seem to have been derived from so latin word he karithe ta nortta hogona so in latin word the statistics is called as status statistics na navu status anta latin word alli karithivi so in italian word it is called statista ಇಟಾಲಿಯನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಾ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಜರ್ಮನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ಲ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಇಟಾಲಿಯನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಜರ್ಮನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಮೀನಿಂಗು ಏನಪ್ಪಾ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಂತ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಸೊ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಡೇಟಾ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಪಾಲಿಸಿ ಆರ್ election so election related data agirbodu election election related uh, informations agirbodu so that is nothing but political state and it includes quantitative data such as exit poll and survey etc so that is a point of political state okay so next we will start with who is the father of statistics that is also very important if you know the statistics and you should know so who is the father of statistics and also we should know who is the father of indian statistics that is also very important so that is sir ronald a fisher or we can short form you can say that r a fisher so ronald a fisher he is considered as the father of statistics so you know enanta karithivi father of statistics anta now karithivi he developed the theories your theories na develop maartta hogtare and which could be used in various fields your develop maadiruvanta theory thumba kade use magutte use agutte such as biometry psychology education agriculture commerce so ella field alli your develop maadiruvanta theories use agutte therefore he is called as father of statistics and the indian scholar indian panditru yarappa avaru that is prashant chandra mahalanobis so prashant chandra mahalanobis or you can say that pc mahalanobis so yurna father of indian statistics anta karithar so he is the father of statistics the father of statistics is ronald a fisher yurna now father of statistics anta karithivi so indian scholar prashant chandra mahalanobis yurna father of indian statistics anta now karithi and he is the founder of indian statistical institute andre isi anta ide so a indian institute indian statistical institute na founder kuda pc mahalanobis agirthar prashant chandra mahalanobis agirthar so that is about the introduction about the father of statistics and father
uh, in the meaning of statistics there will be two different types of uh, meanings are there or definition can be defined by two ways the first one will be singular and plural so statistics now yerdu veli now define maadabodu one enappa one singular sense and plural sense so first we'll start with the statistics in a singular sense singular sense alli statistics andre eno anta tilkona so that is statistics defined as it is the collection presentation collection presentation analysis and interpretation of numerical data so that is the definition of statistics according to singular sense so that is it is a collection presentation analysis and interpretation of numerical information or numerical data so that is the definition of statistics according to singular sense so on the example could do and then we will discuss what is the proper definition of statistics so next is that is in the singular sense definition you will be having four different stages that is according to this definition there are four stages so what are the four stages the first one is collection and organization of data that is the first stage of this definition so what is that so there are various methods of collection of data so the data na collect madkolbekadre tumba ways ide bere bere ways ide so adu yavud andre the first stage is census method number 2 sampling method number 3 primary data collection number 4 secondary data collection so that is the first step of definition of statistic the first is collection and organization so in these four different ways we can easily collect the data so that is census enumeration method so what do you mean by census enumeration method so that is nothing but a complete enumeration of each and every unit in the population so andre population and the total number of units in a in a point is called as population say for example total number of students in a class adana now population ta karithi so now ella students thrannu data na collect maadkondre that is called as census enumeration method so nimge census anna gottide so in census is nothing but so census means in india in for for every 10 years they are going to conduct the census so andre en maartare census conduct maadodandre pratiyondu manegu visit maadi aa kutumbada ella information na ella data na avaru collect maadkoltare so they will not leave not even a single family that is called as census enumeration method that is complete enumeration na matra ishtu data ide athwa na matra ishtu units ide aa ella units inda nu data na collect maadkondre adana census enumeration method anta kareyithi next sampling method sampling method means if the population having huge data ನಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಒಂದು ಲಕ್ಷ ಡೇಟಾ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲರ ಹತ್ರ ಡೇಟಾನ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಸ್ಯಾಂಪಲ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಯಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ನ ತಗೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸ್ಯಾಂಪಲ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ಆ ಸ್ಯಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಡೇಟಾನ ನಾವು ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ನೀವು ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ ಶಾಪ್ಗೆ ವಿಸಿಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಟೊಮೆಟೊ ತೊಗೋಬೇಕಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಟೊಮೆಟೊ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಹೇಗಿದೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆಯಾ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿಲ್ವಾ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ಕೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಲಾಟಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಟೊಮೆಟೊ ನಾವು ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸಮ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಯಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಅಥವಾ ಮೂರು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಸ್ಯಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ನ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಅದನ್ನು ನೋಡ್ತೀರಾ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದ್ರೆ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಯು ವೋಂಟ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಪ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ that is a complete enumeration of each and every unit in the sample that is called as sampling or one more method is is, is there that is called as primary data so what do you mean by primary data the data which is collected for the first time so yaro data na first time o fresh agi collect maadkoltaro that is called as primary data and what do you mean by secondary data the data yaro collect maadkondru anta data na now tagondre that is called as secondary data okay so by using these four measures or by using these four types uh, methods you can easily collect the data so that is the first stage of definition of statistics next number 2 presentation of data so now data na hey collect maadkoltiyo aa data na hage analyze maadlikke sadhya illa so you have to represent the data in in different types so what are those different types the first one is textual format or table format or diagrammatic format or graphical method or graphical format andre now collect maadkondru anta data na direct in direct agi nam analyze maadlikke sadhya illa so you have to convert those type of data in terms of textual format textual format antandre sentence formation or paragraph form format alli navu 
ಅದನ್ನು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಆರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಟೇಬಲಲ್ಲೂ ನಾವು ಡೇಟಾನ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಆ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಥವಾ ಗ್ರಾಫಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ಡೇಟಾನ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನಲೈಸ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಇನ್ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಾಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದಿ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ನಾವು ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿರುವಂತಹ ಡೇಟಾನ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಟೂಲ್ ಅಥವಾ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲನ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅನಲೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಅನಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ದ ಲೆಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರಿಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಸೊ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರಿಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಸೊ ನೀವು ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ಡೇಟಾನ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅಥವಾ ಅನಲೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀರ ನಿಮ್ಗೊಂದು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆನ್ಸರ್ನ ಹಾಗೆ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸೊ ಆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಏನೂ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರೈಟ್ ದ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಬಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡನ್ so that is that is a called as interpretation of data interpretation means writing a conclusion based on your analysis so these are the following four stages in the definition of statistics according to a singular sense the first one is collection and organization of data number 2 presentation of data number 3 analysis of data number 4 interpretation of numerical data so first we will start with taking by taking one example on the example tagondo and then one second we will uh, discuss the definition of statistics class to be continued download ttt live learn app to watch more videos